Hello and welcome to Rando Rob. Each week on Rando Rob, I'll be showing and discussing one item from my large collection of collections. New shows appear every Monday and throughout the week, I'll be adding older episodes of Rando Rob that were previously only available to my Patreon subscribers. You can watch episodes of Rando Rob on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Rob O'Hara. Just look for the Rando Rob playlist. Audio versions of the show are available on my website at podcast.robohara.com or through iTunes. Just search for Rando Rob. Thanks for watching or listening, and I hope you enjoy this vintage episode of Rando Rob. Uh, so anyway, I, I had this item picked out. Uh, I've, I've had it sitting here. I, I ran across it while I was sorting some stuff out the other day, and, um, and, and I've been wanting to talk about it. I got excited to talk about it. And, um, and then, of course, all this snowstorm stuff came up. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about it. And it is a record uh, that I found while I was cleaning. In my, and I had it in my record collection. Uh, it's a very special record to me. Uh, and it is autographed. And the, autog the fact that it's autographed means almost nothing. I'm sure it, it does not change the value of this record to uh, anything at all. But I'm going to show you the record. Uh, and it is a, a, a record called We Called Him E.T. And you can see across the top, it was recorded by a man named Tom Wayne. And it's autographed right there underneath that by Tom Wayne. And uh, I'm going to pull the record out uh, carefully here and show it to you. Because the record is red just like E.T.'s heart. Um, and I don't know if you can see this, but side A, uh, I don't know which side I'm showing here, uh, but side A and side B uh, both have the same song. It is uh, We Called Him E.T. Oh, no, that's not it. Try, try this. Uh, we Called Him E.T. And um, you can see it was recorded, written and recorded by Tom Wayne. Uh, and probably most telling... Uh, is that the top says TWP, which is Tom Wayne Production Records. Now, let me let's get in a time machine here and go back to 1982. Uh, Star Wars, 1977. That was the year uh, well, I started preschool in 19 or uh, uh, kindergarten in 1978. So uh, Star Wars was. Um, you know, had had become a big thing and, and was gaining momentum, of course. You know, you started seeing um, kids with Star Wars lunchboxes and things like we talked about. And then, uh, um, you know, at that time, I know, of course, nobody knew that there was going to be more Star Wars movies. And then uh, the sequel was announced, Empire Strikes Back, 1980. And, and it happened all over again. And then 1982 came. And I really should have looked this up, but 1982 is one of those years in movies. Um, you know what? While I mean, we got all the time in the world, don't we? I'm going to look up the top uh, movies of 1982, but I know a few off the top of my head uh, because I know Tron came out in 1982. Um, the Dark Crystal came out in 1982. Um, and uh, I know Blade Runner came out in 1982. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, during the summer, of course, it was E.T. Boy, I'm just scrolling through here. Uh, Blade Runner. Um, Tootsie was not not uh, really big uh, in, to, as a kid. But The Thing came out, which is... Uh, has I, I've, wasn't a huge fan early on of the thing, and, it, and it's become one of my favorite movies of all time. I have the Blu-ray with the commentary and stuff. Um, of course, E.T. that we talked about. Um, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. I talked about that on one of my podcasts that I went to a, um, a drive-in and saw Star Trek II with Tron. Um, Conan the Barbarian came out in 1982. Um, Annie, which was a big movie for my sister. Rocky Three came out, and uh, First Blood came out. Um, I mean, it's, it's just uh, 1982 is one of those years, and of course, like um, I mean, there are several in the 80s that are like that, but 1982, man, is just just hit after hit after hit. You know? And so, 
my recollection was uh, 1981 and 1982, um, like Star Wars. I don't want to say Star Wars was uncool, but it was it was cooling off. You know, it was two years after um, Empire Strikes Back. But what was hot? Uh, one thing was Pac Man. Pac Man was super hot, and ET was hot. And anything that had ET, you know, ET lunchbox, ET trapper keeper folders, whatever you had. I mean, if you had something that was ET. Um, you know, you were cool. My mom at the time was working as a secretary and one of her uh, side benefits of that job was that she could make free copies, uh, Xerox copies of things. Of course, we didn't have, nobody had flatbed scanners. We didn't have laser printers, you know, so, so making a copy was, was like a, um, a big deal, you know? And uh, uh, so we had found, like, I'd got a coloring book or something of E.T. and had taken out, like, four or five pages. Uh, and they were just, like, full-page things of E.T.'s face. And she had made copies, and I took them to school and handed them out. And I was, like, king for a day, man. I mean, the kids were like, oh, this is amazing. Like, this is, um, you know, third grade for me. And I think our teacher was, like, letting people color E.T., the stuff that I brought, color the E.T., pages instead of doing work and stuff, you know, so E.T. was big. And then I met a kid, well, I already knew him, he was in my class, but uh, there was a kid, and his name was Jerry, I don't know if I should say his name, let's just call him Jerry B. Um, And Jerry B. came to school, and, you know, everybody's talking about E.T., I had the E.T. papers, and people had E.T. folders, and people had the little E.T. wind-up I mean, everything was E.T. And uh, Jerry came to school and said, my dad has recorded a song about E.T. Dad read a song and sang a song about E.T. I mean, that knocked me down a pedestal, you know, or off the pedestal, like down a notch. Um, I was like, wow, you know, like I all I've got is these crappy, um, you know, photocopied papers, and then all of a sudden, you know, this is, uh, um, you know, this guy's singing E.T. songs or whatever. And so, um, not only had his dad sung a song about E.T., his dad was going to come to school. He did not perform the song, but he came to school and gave copies of the record to everyone and signed them, and I'm sure we played the record in class. Uh, And so that was this record, which I am going to play for you shortly. Uh, We called him E.T. And it's a lovely song. And it's kind of written from the point of view of Elliot, but it doesn't say, it never mentions Elliot. Um, It just talks about how he met Um, E.T. Talks about things from the movie, you know. And then uh, in the course, you know, we called him E.T. What a sight to see. He's from another world, but he loves boys and girls. <laughs> and um, uh, it's very country western type of song. You know, it's the kind of song I would expect to hear on a, a jukebox in a bowling alley in the, in the early 80s. Um, there is uh, one part that I always, I do this little motion. I go, Pring! because there's a sound effect uh, during the chorus where he says that E.T. can make a wish and watch the flowers bloom, and it goes, you can make a wish, <laughs> and, um, I mean, I gotta tell you, this is my favorite song when I was a kid, I mean, for, you know, I don't know, six months, <laughs> three months, a month, whatever, when you're a kid, things change fast, but, um, I mean, this was a big deal, uh, not only was there a song about E.T., but I knew the guy, I was, I was classmates with the kid whose dad had sang it, and so, I actually became friends uh, with Jerry, and uh, I went to his house to play, and he went to my house to play, and I remember one time that I spent the night at Jerry's house on a Friday night, and Saturday morning, uh, we got up, and uh, I I believe that uh, Tom Wayne was his stepdad, uh, is what I think it was his uh, his actual dad um, but his mom had gone to work or I don't remember but she was gone and so and of course Tom Wayne was there you know I mean it was his stepdad he lived there and uh, he said hey guys 
um, I've got to go run around and, and I want you guys to go with me. And so I was like, okay. And so Jerry and I went with uh, Tom Wayne, with his dad. Uh, and he had a side hustle of cleaning swimming pools. <laughs> and so I remember I have this vivid memory of going um, to some stranger's house and Jerry and I, you know, being second graders or third graders, where we were sitting in like patio furniture and watching his dad with the skimmer and cleaning the pool and getting all this stuff out, you know, and, and um, I remember, I don't remember if I said this or if I just thought it, but I remember either saying or thinking, your dad is the coolest guy. Not only does he sing songs about E.T., uh, but he works on swimming pools, which I thought was a fantastically luxurious job at the time. I was, I didn't know, um, none of my friends had swimming pools. <laughs> so I thought this was like something, the lifestyles of the rich and famous, you know, so um <laughs> Anyway, um, so fast forward. Uh, let's see. That's 82. We're going to fast forward to 92. We're going to fast forward to 2002. We're going to fast forward to maybe 2012, somewhere around that time, 30 years later. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot to mention this. Um, when he came to school and we got our records, he also gave us... Um, like a headshot, like an eight by 10 headshot that he signed. And I used to have it hanging on my wall in my bedroom. And uh, you know what, I, while I'm talking, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, I, I have this great picture. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it is um, uh, of uh, some, some neighborhood kids of mine, uh, or some neighbors of mine. And uh, here it is. And um, <clears throat> it was on New Year's Day, uh, 19, maybe it was New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, 1982, that sounds right, yes, and, um, oh no, this is locked up, well, um, and so, uh, basically what happened was, uh, uh I, I had my friends come over and I, I made a sign with a marker that said 1982, it was the last day I think of 1982. And they were standing in my room holding it. And if you look on the back wall, it's it's all these like Star Wars posters and great things. But there, you can see uh, the headshot of Tom Wayne <laughs> hanging in the back. So anyway, um, so I had um, I don't know if I had lost or misplaced or something, but something had sparked me, and I couldn't find my record. And so I went online looking for. Um, Tom Wayne and uh, Tom Wayne Records and stuff. And I should go look here and see if uh, uh, I can find it while we're talking. Well, the, whole, the whole computer's locked up now. I, I clicked on... Uh, I don't know if you have this problem. Sometimes I click on uh, to view photos and if the thumbnails haven't loaded, it just locks up the whole system. So uh, Anyway, uh, I found Tom Wayne online and basically uh, it said he had recorded a version of Purple People Eater <laughs> and some uh, he had a CD of like patriotic songs and but he also had a CD of the E.T. and Me song and it had a second E.T. song which was new it was not the old song it was a song I never heard and so and the contact email for Tom Wayne was something like Tom Wayne something something at AOL. And this is in 2012. I was like, there's no way this email address is going to work. But long story short, I did get a hold of uh, Tom Wayne. And he mailed me a huge package of stuff. Uh, he was just thrilled that, uh, I'm sure he didn't remember me, but he was thrilled that, that I had gone to school with his son. And he remembered coming to the school. And he sent me... Um, uh, I believe another record of E.T. and me, and he sent me a record, a 45 of Purple People Eater, and he sent me his uh, Patreon, I mean, everything he's done, he just sent me this giant package and signed everything, and I was thrilled to death. And like I said, I don't think there's a long line of people, uh, you know, waiting for Tom Wayne signatures, and I think um, most of his claim to fame, like a lot of artists, is that he's written some songs that maybe some other people did, and um, I don't know how successful he's been in his career, but... Uh, I hope he's done well. 
And so, um, anyway, since the picture is locked up, I'm going to go right here to the song E.T. and Me. Now, this is, um, I ripped this, I believe, off of the CD because I see the second song is on here. So, uh, I will probably be joining in on the chorus because I love this song so much. But uh, we're going to play the song. And then uh, afterwards, we'll, we'll discuss a little bit about uh, what happened. Uh, but it starts off here with E.T.'s ship. We left him one night when the moon was bright. I took him home with me. I hid him from my mother and everyone. took him out on Halloween All you could see was his feet He was just about three feet tall And he waddled underneath his sheet And we called him E.T. Such a sight to see He's from another world But he loves boys and girls He will fly you high He won't let you frown He can make a wish And watch a flower bloom When he talks about home That's the stars and the moon We both cried and cried Funky. And we call him E.T. Such a sight to see. He's from another world. He has other words. Come on. But he loves boys and girls. He will fly you high. Stars and the moon. It'll be like old times with E.T. and me. Just like old times with E.T. and me. It'll be like old times with E.T. and me. Just like old times. E.T. There he goes. Now, if you heard that uh, weird uh, music pop up right in the middle, uh, that was because I'm going to mute this. Mute tab, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that music coming on is from the Tom Wayne <laughs> website here. And so it says, Tom Wayne is a singer-songwriter, has recorded more than 50 songs and written over 200, many of which have been recorded by other country music artists. Uh, his first record, The King Lives On Forever, a song he wrote just three days after Elvis's death, has been featured on the Oprah Winfrey Show. 
CNN, and in the movie Rock and Roll Disciples. And then it says, In 1982, Tom wrote and recorded We Called Him E.T. Let me move this over here so I'm looking this. Oh, no. Well, then you can't see it. I'll leave it here. In 1982, Tom wrote and recorded We Call Them E.T., a single which sold several thousand copies and was played on major radio stations across the U.S. and Canada. We Call Them E.T. reached number one in many cities and established Tom Wayne as one of the top-selling independent country music artists in the nation. Tom has made numerous TV and radio appearances and performed on shows with many country music stars such as Randy Travis, Conway Twitty, Reva McIntyre, and many others, including Grammy Award-winning Jody Miller for whom he wrote Supreme Decision, a song that reached number one on the panel chart in 1999. His latest release is From the Heart, featuring For God and Country, a tribute to America's veterans. This new CD has 13 songs and includes duets with country music legends Leona Williams and Jody Miller. So, um, I, I will. Uh, this is what I'll say about uh, uh, Tom Wayne. Um, you know, they say that... Uh, I'm, I say, you know, they say, and I, I don't really remember the, the setting, but um, uh, they have the uh, uh, saying that lightning, oh, this is the wrong thing. What are we doing? Let's go to Rando Rob. Uh, there we go. Uh, you know, that uh, you can't capture lightning in a bottle twice, I believe is the saying. And uh, that was definitely true for Tom Wayne. And I remember the next year, the following year, that uh, Tom Wayne came to our school with another stack of records. And this was actually the record that I was trying to find, I believe, uh, online, and I don't think it's for sale anymore. Uh, but it was about Mr. T. And instead of being uh, red vinyl, like uh, we called him E.T., it was uh, gold, and it was all about uh, Mr. T's gold and Mr. T's chain. Of course, there's the red vinyl from uh, we called him E.T. And uh, <clears throat> so I don't know that there's any record of the Mr. T song. I wish I wish I still had a copy of it. It would be great, but I do not uh, have a copy anymore. So, um, yep, so that, that was kind of the uh, uh, history of, of Tom Wayne. And uh, he came and went. And uh, like I said, it, it, uh, according to his website, he uh, sold a few copies. Uh, uh, you know, sold, what did it say, several thousand. So, um it wasn't a it did not go gold or platinum unfortunately um you know there was one line uh, that always confused me as a kid um and uh, i'm not even sure i know what it is today but he says um uh let me go through this song now. And a heart that was red and bright. He loved to eat candy, but when he tried beer, E.T. got half tight? Taint? So I thought it was, when I was a kid, I thought it was taint. I thought E.T. got half taint uh, when he drank the beer, but maybe it's half tight? Is that, I don't know if that's a saying. I guess I should look that up while we're here. While we're all here. Well, I could have been doing research before this. Well, I couldn't earlier because I didn't have power. <laughs> Um, drinking half tight? I don't know what the saying is. Uh, I guess it's, maybe it's half taut? I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't see that. So, I, I never really understood what that line was. And, and also, um, I always thought that was a weird thing to throw in a song for kids. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, there's it's such a short song. You've got the opening um, verse, you know, and then you hit that chorus. And then the second chorus is we all cried and cried the night he went home. And, uh, you know, so, so um, I mean, E.T.'s there and then he's gone. So it's, it's a weird thing that the one thing he wanted to throw in was, uh, uh, you know, the part about him drinking beer. And then, like I said, I never really understood uh, what that what that little part was about, but uh, anyway, well, I really wanted to show this picture, but uh, Explorer has completely crashed. I'm hoping it doesn't, uh, and now uh, I'm getting into dangerous territory. Now Explorer's crashing and rebooting the city for this. So if I could get this to open, uh, we will, uh, here we go. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh, 
miscellaneous pictures of it. I have uh, every picture in the world. Um, so let's move this picture. I'm going to use a different picture viewer. This is a great picture. This is one of those one in a lifetime where you go. Um, I mean, it's just amazing that I have this. I'm going to switch over to uh, Sprite Castle here. Uh, my Sprite Castle view, just because I got a, a photo uh, window thing here set up. But um, those are my neighbors. That's Matt and Mitch. Um, they're two of four brothers Matt, Mitch, Mike, and Mark. And uh, this would have been in. Um, like I said, uh, 1982. And uh, as you can see, on the, this is my bedroom here. And uh, there's a lot of things going on. I have messed with this photo in Photoshop before to, to change the, the lighting and do some different stuff. This is a, uh, right above the 1982, this area here, uh, this is a photo of King Kong that came from some uh, special effects magazine. Um, this is a, there's a Star Wars poster right here of, uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO. Here's an E.T. poster. Here's Yoda. Um, I think there, and then, um, there's all these little Star Wars pictures, like right here. And there's one of, a couple over here on the side. These were, uh, from, um, joining the fan club. You got a bunch of color, uh, eight and a half by 11 uh, pictures, whatever. But, but right here, if you look right here is this picture of a bearded man that's hanging uh, right here on my wall. And it is autographed, and it obviously says Tom Wayne right there. So there you go. I'm sure this will lock up when I switch back over to um, Rando Rob again. But um, there you go. So that was uh, uh, you know getting to see uh, uh, Tom Wayne and the record and, of course, uh, the E.T. song. Now, I'll tell you that... Uh, the song drives my wife crazy, and I have it on my phone uh, in my uh, MP3 library that's on my phone. And so every now and then in the car, if I'm playing things on shuffle, it'll come up. Um, but <laughs> uh, on my phone, uh, I just want to go here. Let's go to phone and uh, go to my wife's contacts here and go to ringtones and this is the ringtone I set for her and we call him E.T. <laughs> such a sight to see <laughs> he's from another world but he loves boys and girls <laughs> And so um, she's not happy with that. What's funny is uh, she doesn't normally hear it because uh, she's calling me from somewhere else. But it makes me laugh every single time because uh, she really hates that song so much. So. Anyway, uh, I'm seeing texts on my phone that maybe the water is back on. Maybe we're getting low water pressure at this point. So um, uh, I'm going to go check that. So anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed the uh, ET story. And um I'm still uh, weather, or not weather, but electricity and, and all other things uh, permitting. I plan on uh, uh, still having a You Don't Know Flat come out uh, Thursday night or Friday morning, one or the other. So um, anyway, until then, oh, don't forget uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday night, I'm going to try and stream. So it's a little, and it's going to be hard, but uh, I'm just trying to be cognizant because it's just me and my daughter home right now. So I hate to just be in here for hours at a time if she's out there and go by herself but um the school is uh doing online stuff and she can do it any time of the day so she mostly is a night owl like me and is doing her homework so while she's doing that it's a good time for me to be in here so anyway uh thanks you guys everything and we're gonna be okay here and i hope uh, you guys if you're in the south or the midwest i hope uh you are um warm and, and have water and electricity and all those uh, great things that uh uh, sure make life a little bit more enjoyable than the uh, conveniences that we get used to. So, Anyway, uh, I will talk to you all soon, and uh, thanks for uh, watching another episode of Rando Rob. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take you out with the other song. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. I'll just get away from all of our MP3s. So.
CDs. Tom Wayne CD. I'm gonna take us out with best friends with you two. If I could be anything I wanted to be If I could see anything I wanted to see I'd take a trip up to the moon And all around And I just might be lucky and find E.T. If I could go anywhere I wanted to go I didn't have anybody telling me no Go up there and see what I could see. And I might become best friends with each.